Hi, I'm Scott with Starkey Family, fixing and rigging up. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Now today, while you can probably tell from the sound, it's like very, very windy and it is actually very cold out here. But out in the background, you can see large reels of wire. Well, that's what we're gonna actually be hauling today. So let's get this video rolling. Okay, so these are the kind of reels full of wire that I'm actually gonna be hauling. So they're similar to a coil, but what I'm doing here is when the uh, forklift drivers come back from lunch, there'll be two boards in between each one of these reels. Now, I've already got all my equipment laid out which on the front we're gonna do two chains and then each additional reel we're gonna do one chain and then when we get to the very back we're gonna do uh, two more chains so I've got everything laid out there's the uh, snap binders we'll walk around to the other side here and here are the uh, chains that I have set up now we may need to adjust the wood a little bit. That's just pretty much a, a rough estimate of where I think they're gonna end up being at. So it could end up coming back a little bit farther. But uh, now I'm just waiting on the uh, forklift drivers. Okay, so when you actually haul these, you know, you've got this big old cage that holds this wire. You're gonna take the chains and you're gonna run them through these little eyelets here and out the other side. Okay, now this right here is actually two of them put together. But uh, basically it's the same concept. But you gotta remember, these things here, if they break free, they roll. So you really wanna use chains on them. I would tell you not to use straps, but you know, situations do come up to where you have no choice. Basically what they're doing is they're taking a uh, forklift and uh, lifting up a couple uh, rolls at a time and as you can see they're putting the boards underneath of this to lift them right off the deck and then of course I will just come back and uh, chain everything down. I was told to just pretty much stand back and the employees would do everything for me other than chain everything. So I'm gonna let them do their job. Seems like they got a pretty good plan what they're doing and uh, so far I'm pretty well happy what they're doing. They take pride in it.
So what his job is, is to actually line everything up straight on my trailer. That's probably one of the most important jobs on here is to make sure everything is straight and where it needs to be. Okay. I've got one chain ran through right now, but basically what I'm doing is I'm taking this hook I'm going to go to the end of this pole, hook the chain, take the pole, and run it all the way through to the other side. Okay, so I was informed that I was doing it the hard way. So basically what I'm going to do is I am going to take that pole go around to the other side which makes more sense reach it through and then hook my chain and then just pull it through so we're going to show that
this is basically what it's going to look like. You have two chains on the front, one pulling front, one pulling back. Now I've got to go through and do the rest of them. Okay, so this is basically what it looks like coming out the other end. Basically, I'm just dragging the chain out the other side. chains pulled through I've got to actually go around make sure they're all hooked and secured just like this so I'll be pulling the tension out of these so let me hook that okay it's also important to note when you're actually gonna wrap these around something you want to make sure you wrap it around at least one spool if you're going to hook it to the square post if you try hooking it straight to the square post that's really bad because a lot of times they're not welded pretty good and they can actually uh, twist out of place so make sure you wrap your chain around one spool and then come around and hook it okay now with all the chains in place all i've got to do is come back with the snap binders make them look like this okay with all the uh, ratchet binders on there now I've got to go through with my binder bar snap them all
Okay, just to give you an idea how much pressure is actually applied from these snap binders, you can see I've got the rail on both sides here flexed. So it'll pop out of place when they get unloaded. But for right now, that's how much pressure is actually on there. And that's what you want to see. Okay, so the next thing is, <clears throat> after we've got the snap binders tightened down, we've got excess chain. Plus, in the case that a chain would happen to come loose, you want to make sure that your snap binder doesn't come loose with it. So, we're going to take the bungees and wrap around them. Okay, so this is basically what you want to see. You're going to take your bungee and wrap your chain around your ratchet binder. And then you're going to bring it right back down to the trailer. That way, with everything wrapped around, there's no way your snap binder can come loose. So now, we've got to do that to the rest of them. Okay, so we got everything finished up right now, but there's something I did want to talk about. Earlier on in the video, you saw where I was actually trying to put the chain through the center of one of these spools, and one of the employees said that I was actually doing it wrong. I was doing it the hard way. Well, I'm actually glad that he came over and told me I was doing it the, the hard way. Uh, it's not very often that you go to a company and employees will actually get involved with what the truck drivers are doing. A lot of times, if there's something that <clears throat> you may be doing the harder way, you might even figure it out, you know, after a few minutes, the uh, forklift drivers or other employees will just be sitting there laughing at you. Well, this guy here didn't it. He actually stepped in, and uh, I just wanted to do a little shout out and let him know that uh, I appreciate it. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the round on the trailer and check everything out. Okay, we've got everything hooked up. We're just basically walking around, making sure everything is secured, everything is tight. This is what it looks like from a back view. So you got two uh, reels actually uh, sandwiched together. And here's my snap binders where I've got them bungee tight. This is actually the most important part of the job. Before you take off, you make sure everything has been done. Everything looks good, so we're ready to roll. I'm Scott with Starkey Family, fixing and rigging up. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to watch my other videos. And I also have a gaming channel called Starkey Family Gaming and Fun. If you like video games, check that out also. Have a good one.